how to create custom invoice in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up and create a custom invoice and send it to the uh, or with the orders. So it is very easy very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com. Then what we're going to do next is to head over the products and make sure that we have some products in case. So as you can see, we have at least one product. Here we have it or the only one product that we have. Now what are we going to do is to stimulate or simulate whether an order. So I'm not going to stimulate an order. I'm not going to declare that order, but or get uh, to the Shopify store and create an order. Instead, I'm going to manually do it. So we are going to click on orders. Now we are going to click on create order. Now we are going to see here the products. So we are going to either browse or add a custom item. For example, if it is going to be here a custom invoice, either it is going to be something customizable or uh, something like this. So we are going to put the item name, the price, the quantity, the option if uh, the item is taxable, is a physical product, and the weight of it. For example, you can add it like this, or you can go ahead and click on browse, select one of the products that you have, select the as you can see the uh, option that you have and start adding it. So I'm going to start by adding a custom item. So we are going to put here uh, maybe a service. So I'm not going to put it here, but I'm going to uh, send an invoice about a service. For example here, um, web, for example, design, like that and the price we are going to put here maybe 520 the quantity is one item is taxable so we are going to either set it as yes or no add item and if you are here we have the item so basically we have set up everything from scratch you're going to see here the uh, subtotal you can add a discount shipping or delivery and also estimated tax so we are going to add, for example, a discount, add a, a custom order discount or a discount from your store. So I'm going here to set up an amount, for example, of $20. Reason for discount here, client uh, or rate client, for example. We're going to click on apply. Here we have. Now you can add some notes, for example, for uh, yourself right there about that specific one or about the specific order, and you can tag it by adding some tags. You can select the payment due later, for example, do not uh, do on receipt, for example, or add it like this. So you are going to set or here set up the payment reminder for them and etc. And then you're going to have here the options. I'm going to click on save first. Now here the market is going to be here set up. So you can change the market in case you have multiple markets. So you are going to have different currencies. Now I have saved my, as you can see here, um, uh, the uh, order. So either we are going to create the order or we are going to click on send invoice. When you click on send invoice, you're going to see to or the recipient from here the email address uh, of the admin or the store. So this is the name of the store and this is the email address. Now you can add uh, the CCs and the BCCs recipients if you want to group a lot of people or right there uh, here uh, put multiple people in one only email and you can go ahead and BCC one of the uh, emails right there or the BCC is going to be here excluding a uh, contact uh, here we have the subject which is going to be the invoice name for example 
a year invoice by the order or a number for example or or there so here we have it uh, and also we have the custom message you can go ahead and customize your message on whatever you want from here so let's start here by setting up the recipient for example i'm going to add this person the subject is going to be here invoice name or for example here um we are going to put invoice for something like uh, it is either going to be here the name of the invoice or we can go ahead and delete all of that and set up something invoice for example for the let's say here uh something like web design for uh, for example we can and mention the name of the client for example like that kex is just an example and for the custom message you can go ahead and set up the uh, message like hi kex this is uh, the invoice that I send for example send for you to collect the payment like that and also to uh, let's say here make things uh, transparent trans like that transparent and fluid between me as a free lancer for example free lancer and and you like that as a client so we are going to set up this uh, product prices you can lock all product prices so they do not change uh, like that you can add uh, the discount codes right there i'm going to review the invoice uh verify this email address again so this is the email address you can go ahead and add this and you need to verify the email address because i do i do not know how things are going to be uh this uh, i know i know this is a this email address is not verified yet so we need to verify it here so we are going to head over the settings and from here we are going to click on here and then you are going to uh, as you can see go to the notification setting and verify your email address like that this is it so you are going to verify it so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one